Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. in the 
right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm dead. Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... Good luck.
Hey. Oh God. I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's the tip. Two eyes, human. Four eyes, Batarian. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. I guess Batarians are as bad as they say. I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. The conventions only apply to council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. If they made a policy of this, the council would declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. If the Batarians can't keep their own crazies in line, we'll do it for them. I just don't want the Terra Firma party using a threat to my home as an excuse to invade somebody else's. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. Four and a half million people are going to die in a few hours. Don't make me trot out some tired platitude about the needs of many versus few. But if you see them while... No. You're right. Focus on the torches. Sorry. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That are being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard.
hear me? Getting all kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing what you're doing.
charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! <sighs> Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it.
Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. That's reason enough for me. Damn it. Get her! No one leaves!
Almost more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Balak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. You pulled away from the Council. What did you think would happen? We didn't pull away. We were forced out. And don't try to hide behind the Council. 
It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? I could ask you the same thing. How many innocent Batarians died at Torfin? Oh, or had you forgotten about that? Torfin was retaliation for your attack on Elysium. You pushed, we pushed back. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. You can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe, but I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. In the future, run away from the sound of gunfire. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour in our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she alright? Is her team... I let Balak walk so he wouldn't blow them up. If they're not all right, he's gonna have a short, unhappy life. You let him go to save them? Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? You think I should have let him blow up your friends? Sacrificed a few now to avoid possible deaths later? What? No, I... Nobody dies on my watch. Yeah, Balak might attack another colony in the future. If he does, I'll be there to nail him to the wall. He's down, miss. Anyone asks me, you did the right thing. If they say otherwise, I'll set them straight. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. I could really use some light armor. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers? Have you found them? Not yet. Can you think of anything that would help me find them? See if you can tap into our transmission tower out on the surface. Their equipment sheds will show up on your sensors. Take care of yourself. 
Be well, Shepard. We owe you. I can't believe you let Balak go. To save us. I half expected you to just let us die. Sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing. No matter what. Your brother was the one Balak killed? Yes. Aaron. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Commander Shepard, with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio, risking your life. Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think he was disappointed none of us kids signed up, but... He'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... What can you tell me about the Batarians? What were they hoping to achieve with all this? I don't even think they knew. When they first arrived, they were talking about getting us back to their ship. They wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion, whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but I, I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. How did the asteroid get all the way over here? And why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so we attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until... We'll get everything back to normal soon enough. <laughs> Almost everything. You've been through a lot. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. <laughs>